Flight 32 is ready to prepare for descent and arrival into Los Angeles. ATC clears Flight 32 for the SADI-4 arrival Avenal transition and the ILS runway 24 right Dene transition. To load this clearance into the FMC, first display the arrivals page. The arrivals page for the destination airport is displayed because the airplane is more than halfway or more than 400 nautical miles along the route to the destination. Had these conditions not been met, the arrivals page for the origin airport would be displayed. Standard terminal arrival routes and profile descents are displayed on the left. All approaches for this airport are displayed on the right. If more than five stars or approaches exist, more pages are available. Display KLAX Arrivals, page 2. Select the SADI 4 star. Notice all stars except the selected one are removed from the display. All transitions associated with the selected star are now listed. These transitions are used to link the route to the star. Select the Avenal transition. Now select the approach ILS 24 right. The approach includes missed approach routing and holding if the missed approach procedure is part of the published approach. Like the selected star, only the selected approach displays. Transitions associated with selected approach are displayed under the selected approach. These transitions include the initial approach fix, feeder fixes, and fixes providing routing to the initial approach fix. Select the Dene transition. Display all legs pages to check the route modification for any route discontinuities. Make the modification active. Display the arrivals page to see the change. All stars and approaches for the destination airport are again displayed in order to allow for a new selection should ATC change the clearance. The selected star and approach are shown active. Use approach intercept to enter this ATC clearance. Select the ILS 24 right approach. Approach intercept provides a quick way to intercept a course to a fix on the selected approach. Roman is the initial approach fix for the ILS 24 right. Select Roman intercept. The FMC displays the legs page with Roman as the active waypoint and with the correct intercept course. Your clearance is to intercept the final approach course to Roman. Make this modification active. Now use Heading Select to fly the airplane to the LNAV route. After the approach and new routing have been loaded, the next action is to set the VREF speed. In flight, after the climb phase, the approach reference page is displayed by pushing the initialization reference key. Display the approach reference page. Gross weight displays the FMC computed gross weight or crew entered weight. Entries not within the gross weight range result in the scratch pad message, invalid entry. The landing reference toggles between QFE and QNH. The active mode is displayed in large green font. Verify the destination, runway, and length are correct for the approach you selected. The FMC calculated VREF speeds at flaps 20, 25, and 30 are based upon the display gross weight value. Select the VREF speed for flaps 30. Next, enter the values into the flap speed line. This entry also displays the VREF speed on the PFD speed tape. Now we're ready for descent and approach into Los Angeles.
After the mist approach, due to the earthquake at Los Angeles, all runways are closed. An alternate airport needs to be loaded into the FMC. Display the alternate page. The FMC selects four potential alternate airports from the navigation database. The FMC ignores airports with runways shorter than the airline's specified minimum. Page 1 allows you to select and divert to an alternate airport. The alternates are displayed in order of ETA. The ETA and fuel lines display ETA and predicted arrival fuel at the corresponding alternate. Each of the four alternates has its own alternate page that can be selected with the individual alternate select keys. These pages are discussed later. The FMC automatically selects the closest alternate. That selection is also used by the Divert Now function. Divert Now is used when the decision to divert is made. Any of the displayed alternates can be manually selected. Select Ontario International to override the FMC alternate airport selection. The Divert Now prompt references Ontario. For practice, delete the manual selection of Ontario and return to the FMC selected alternate. Push the delete key. Now push the Ontario alternate select key to return to the FMC selected alternate. Long Beach is again chosen by the FMC. Any airport can also be manually entered into the four alternate select lines provided the airport is in the navigation database. Enter San Francisco International into the scratch pad and push any one of the four alternate select keys. San Francisco is selected, displayed in large font, and automatically moved to the bottom of the list because it has the latest ETA. Next, delete San Francisco and notice the FMC reselects Long Beach automatically since it is the closest alternate. Two alternate airports can be inhibited from being used by the FMC by entering the identifier into the alternate inhibit line. Inhibit San Diego International. Bakersfield is selected from the navigation database to replace San Diego. Airports can be removed from the alternate inhibit line by using the delete key. Delete San Diego. Since the FMC continuously updates the four closest alternates, San Diego is again added to the alternate list. Selecting Alternate Request alerts Dispatch to uplink the four company preferred alternates. Request the preferred alternates from Dispatch. When the alternate uplink is received from dispatch, the alternate uplink scratchpad message is on both CDUs. These are the four alternates preferred by dispatch. The uplinked alternate list may be accepted or rejected by pushing the appropriate select key. Accept the alternate list. A more comprehensive list of alternates can also be requested from dispatch. Display alternate page 2. Selecting alternate list request alerts dispatch to uplink a larger list of possible alternates. Request the expanded alternate listing.
A new FMC Scratchpad message alternate list uplink displays. Up to 20 preferred alternates can be sent by dispatch, each with an associated wind and altitude outside air temperature. The FMC is restricted to this list to choose four alternates for display on alternate page one. Notice the 20 alternates are immediately loaded and do not need to be accepted. The alternate list purge key clears the alternate list. Purge the current list. To complete the purge, select Confirm, confirming the decision to purge the list. This weather request prompt uses data link to request weather for the displayed alternates. When dispatch uplinks the requested weather, it is sent to the flight deck printer and to the individual alternate pages. To display the alternate page for any one of the four listed airports, push the appropriate line select key. Display the alternate page for Burbank. Touch the highlighted key. A recommended diversion altitude, recommended diversion speed, estimated average wind along the diversion route, and outside air temperature at an appropriate altitude may be displayed. The ETA and fuel estimates are based on the above displayed conditions. Engine out on this page functions like engine out on the cruise page and is discussed in detail later. Selecting any of the other three pages displays the same type of data for the other three recommended alternates. Three routings are offered for the flight path to the alternate. We'll discuss these in a moment. But first, return to the alternate page by selecting alternate in the lower left corner. Touch the highlighted key. According to the weather forecast, Ontario is the best alternate choice. Select Ontario as the alternate airport. The clearance to the alternate from the Los Angeles missed approach at RAFS is loaded for you. Now return to the Ontario alternate page to select one of the routing options. The Ontario alternate page provides for selection of either direct to, offset, or overhead routing to the alternate. The FMC uses the selected routing to compute fuel and ETA predictions for all four alternates. The direct to option is automatically selected. Direct to results in direct routing from present position to the selected alternate airport. Now, Enter an offset of right 5 miles in the offset line. Select the offset option. Offset creates an offset in nautical miles either left or right of course. Now select the overhead option. Overhead routing follows the existing flight plan route to the specified overhead waypoint, which is usually the next waypoint in the route, and then direct to the alternate airport. The overhead waypoint entry can be any waypoint in the existing route. Enter Seal Beach VOR into the overhead line. Selecting the Divert Now prompt on this page, or on alternate page 1, displays the selected route modification. Select Divert Now. Make the modification active. The overhead option is now active. Notice the routing is via the previous active route to the specified overhead waypoint and then direct to Ontario.
Since the ceiling and visibility are unlimited at Ontario, let's load a visual arrival for our last approach of the day. Display the arrivals page. Notice that only precision and non-precision approaches are listed on page 1. Display page 2. Notice there is not a visual arrival listed because visual arrivals are not published approaches. Select the runway on which we were cleared to make the visual approach. Now that the runway is selected, a VFR approach can be selected or a distance can be entered into the runway extension line. Entering a distance into the runway extension line extends the runway center line out to the entered distance. Since our approach is visual, select VFR approach. The FMC creates a VFR approach with an 8 mile final approach fix and a 3 degree glide path to the runway. The FMC calculates an end of descent altitude for the final approach fix waypoint. This altitude is based on the distance to touchdown and flight path angle. Display the legs page to verify the modification is correct. Clear the root discontinuity by making RX08 left the active waypoint. Make the modification active. Fly the approach using LNAV and VNAV, but don't forget you must make the landing. On an approach into Los Angeles, ATC issues clearance for the arrival. Comply with the clearance using the Los Angeles Arrivals page. On an approach into Denver, ATC issues a last-minute runway change. Comply with the clearance using the Denver Arrivals page. Make the appropriate selection to make the LNAV route the final approach course intercept to alter. Request a list of 20 alternate airports from dispatch. To request an expanded listing of alternate airports, the request must be initiated from alternate page 2. From the list of four preferred alternates, Divert to the alternate with the latest ETA. Use direct routing. The four preferred alternates are listed on alternate page 1. Compare the ETAs to select the alternate with the latest ETA. Additionally, you might want to select the correct line select key to enter the winds and temperature. Touch the highlighted key 